Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozord, and in this video, I want to talk about Abacus Visualization Module Post Processing Plasticity Outputs, including Equivalent Plastic Strain or PEEQ. This is the table of contents. I will talk about simulation of the four point bending test, definition of plasticity behavior, field output settings. Von Mises Stress Contour, Equivalent Plastic Strain Contour or PEEQ, Contour Plot Options, AC Yield Contour, Creating XY Data from Field Outputs, Combining XY Data for Obtaining a Stress Strain Curve. After performing a simulation containing plastic behavior and plastic deformation during a project, outputs should be post-processed. Here, the procedure of post-processing of plasticity outputs will be explained in detail. There are several important outputs for the post-processing of plastic region. Von Mises stress, equivalent plastic strain, plastic strain and logarithmic strain. In this tutorial, the procedure of requesting these field outputs and interpreting them for engineering judgment and further assessments will be explained in detail. This is the example of this tutorial, that is, the simulation of the four-point bending test. Four-point bending test consists of four rigid rollers and the specimen. These are four rigid rollers. And this is the specimen that is the steel bar. Top rollers move downward and deforms the steel bar. The steel bar undergoes plastic deformation. This is the definition of plastic behavior for a steel bar. As you can see, the unit of stress is Pascal and the yield stress is defined until 400 megapascals and its corresponding plastic strain is 35%. As the loading is quasi-static, the static general step is used for solving the problem. Because of the large deformation in the model, the NLGM is set to on. This is the definition of field output request. Here, components of a stress tensor and its invariants are requested. In the following, a strain is requested. When the NLGM is set to on even by selection of E, total strain components, it will not be calculated. In 3D space, the PE has six components that are six components of plastic strain tensor. PEQ is different from PE and is a scalar variable. When the NLGM is set to on because of the large displacement assumption, LE will be calculated instead of E. LE is logarithmic strain. I go to Abacus to show you these settings. I go to property module. I click on material manager. Here you can see the definition of material named steel. As the static general step is used, there is no need for definition of density. Here I have defined elastic behavior and plastic behavior. I go to a step module. I click on a step manager. These are the settings of a static general step. I click on Field Output Manager. Here you can see the requested variables. I go back to the slides. After the simulation is completed, in the visualization module, we must 
check the results. In the visualization module, you can set that how the contours will be illustrated. Some of these settings must be done from contour plot options. Here I want to talk about banded contour type. Banded contours of element-based variable values are computed by extrapolating results to the nodes and conditionally averaging. Averaging depends on the characteristics of your model and on options you select. Actually, the default setting is banded. The other important contour type is coiled. You can choose coiled type contours only for element field output variables like stress, strain, and damage variables. Variable values are extrapolated to element faces on the surface of your model with no averaging between elements. Cold contours are useful for evaluating results on an element by element basis. And you can decrease or increase the number of contour intervals. The maximum number of contour intervals is 24. Here you can see the von Mises stress contour. This is the equivalent plastic strain contour. Regions with PEQ greater than zero undergo plastic deformation. And this is the AC yield contour. Also, you can use this contour for checking the plastic regions. Plastic regions are colored in red. I go to Abacus to show you these contours. I go to Job Module. I click on Job Manager. I remove these nodes. Okay. This is the von Mises stress contour. I click on contour options. I set contour type to cold and I set the number of contour intervals to 24. And here you can see the change in von Mises stress contour. This is the equivalent plastic strain contour. And this is the AC yield contour. I go back to the slides. Now I want to extract the von Mises stress and equivalent plastic strain in an element and plot them versus each other. So I must create XY data from ODB field output because von Mises stress and PEQ are field outputs. I must set the position to integration point and I must select von Mises stress and PEQ from this list. PEQ and von Mises stress for the integration point of one element in the plastic region of the steel bar will be extracted as XY data. They will be derived with respect to time. XY data are collections of ordered pairs having X values of time and Y values of the selected variable. In this model, the C3D8R element is used for meshing the steel bar. This element has only one integration point located at its center. So two XY data will be generated having X values of time and Y values of PEQ and von Mises stress respectively. After performing the data extraction, I must combine these two XY data. I must use operate on XY data and then use the combine function. Use the combine function to combine two previously saved XY data objects to produce a new XY data object. The new XY data object contains data pairs consisting of the Y coordinate values of the first data object and the Y coordinate values of the second data object. Combine wherever X coordinate values for the two data objects match. Actually, X coordinate values for both of these variables is time. After combining these two XY data, 
we can plot this curve. Now I go to Abacus to plot this curve. I click on create XY data, ODB field output. I select von Mises stress and PEQ and select, for example, this element and save XY data. Here you can see that the data is extracted. Now I click on create XY data for another time. I set it to operate on XY data. I select combine function. I select PEQ for the X axis and select von Mises stress for the Y axis. And I save this data as von Mises stress versus PEQ. And I plot this XY data. I go back to the slides. This is the definition of plastic behavior. As you can see, these three points correspond to these three data points. So we can conclude that the yield stress column corresponds to von Mises stress and plastic strain column corresponds to PEQ. In the following tutorials, several useful tools of the Abacus visualization module will be explained in detail. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp, or you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and making a special tutorials to your order. We can perform high-quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Finally, I want to suggest you two other related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.